Mm. Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, February 20th. Happy to see everybody on board with us here at Mystic Fitness for another Saturday morning power yoga class. So my name is Amy, and thank you for joining us this beautiful morning. Maybe you spent the past couple of days shoveling snow. We had quite a storm here in Massachusetts. So if you're a snow shoveler, some of these postures this morning are going to feel really good and going to help restore your body. Or if you just have the winter blues or the winter doldrums, this is one way to pick yourself up uh, with our yoga classes. We meet here every single morning at 9 a.m. Uh, with a different instructor guiding you through a practice. So thanks for joining us, and we're going to get started. We're all lying on our backs here at Mystic Fitness. Just take some breaths in and out. So just spend some time connecting to your breath. Deep inhalations through the nose. Fill up your belly and fill up your chest. And then exhaling out through your nose if you're practicing in our studio. It's nose breathing only. If you're at home, you might want to uh, breathe out through your nose or your mouth. Make sure the exhales are thorough. Make sure you scoop up everything from the bottom of the lungs as you exhale. Find that inner scoop. And let's get rid of all the CO2 and any other toxins lingering on the bottom of your lungs. Yeah. Keep up that beautiful, strong Ujjayi breath. Inhaling nice and deep. Belly fills and lungs fill. And exhaling, emptying the belly and emptying the lungs. Let's bring our knees up in the air. Cap one hand over each knee. And you can start stirring your knees, pulling them towards your chest and away from your chest. And then change the direction. If you went one direction, try doing the other direction. We'll start with a beautiful wind relieving pose. So just allow your legs to straighten down on the ground. And then interlace your fingers. And let's bring that right shin in. Relax your shoulders. Relax your upper body. Use your hand strength and your bicep strength to squeeze that right thigh toward your chest, but slightly out to the right of it. Nothing too deep, not at the start, not at the get-go. Just exploring your body. And taking some leg circles here, you'll open the right knee out to the right. And then push your right heel down toward your left heel. And rotate your leg inward. So knee up, knee out, push down, rotate in. Just some gorgeous leg circles. And then bringing that knee back in, please, for wind relieving pose. I'd like you to try this. Raise your left leg up in the air, flexing the left foot, picking up your heel until it's above your hip. Press your lower back into the floor. And then we're going to lower that left heel, and we're going to raise it. So just some gentle leg lifts on the left, please. Dropping and raising with control. Let's inhale and raise it. 
Exhale and drop. Inhale to rise. Exhale and drop. Breathe into it. Exploring your incredible mobility. Okay, and then lower that leg. We'll release the right leg down. Stretch out long in stick pose, arms above your head, flex your toes, excuse me, flex your feet, and then point your toes. So just go back and forth with those feet flexing and pointing, and maybe circling at the ankles. So making circles with your big toe, point it, and make some circles. And then change the direction of those circles. Resting the right leg on the floor, wind removing pose on the left side. So give that left shin a good squeeze. You're going to use your bicep strength here and your hand strength. And you're going to squeeze as you lie back. And breathe. Make some leg circles, left knee out to the left, push the left heel down, rotate your left leg in. This is very helpful for that lower back, especially if you've been shoveling. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful series of storms we've had all this month of February here in Massachusetts. It's going to lead to an absolutely gorgeous springtime for us. Okay, let's bring it back to wind relieving pose, squeeze, and if you're ready, raise the right leg up with a flexed foot and lower down, and we try to keep that leg straight as we raise it up and lower down, and just take some of these. In our, our studio, I'm hearing some beautiful breath work going on. Couple more. Such a nice way to wake up the body first thing on a snowy morning. Awesome sauce. We're going right into abs. How does that sound, guys? Are y'all cool with that? Okay, let's get our both legs and just give them a squeeze and a hug. And let's return to those knee circles. Good. We're going to leave the knees up in the air here. Okay, so the knees are right on top of the hips. So our thighs are perpendicular to our core. Calves parallel to the floor and flex your feet. Now take your hands and press your thighs away from you. This is going to force you to really engage your core. Okay, feel that belly pulling in and down. Tailbone flattening on the floor, lower back nice, hugging the, the earth. Let your lower back hug the earth. Press your thighs away until you're trembling. Thighs press into the hands until the arms are trembling. Breathe. Breathe. Beautiful work. Ten more seconds here, please. Five more seconds. Really nicely done. Okay, rest, but keep the legs where they are. So now no tension. You can pet the thighs if you want to. <laughs> good thighs, good little thighs. You did good. Oh boy, my dog at home loves that. All right, here we go. Keep your thighs up. And now the arms rise up, so fingertips above your shoulders. Stretch those arms up, relax your shoulders though, heads relaxed on the floor. Breathe. 
dropping the left leg down, okay, hovering over the floor, so flex your left foot, and the heel hovers over the ground. Stretch the right arm above your head. Hold this, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch that out. Right arm comes up, left knee comes up. Right leg straightens, floats over the floor. Left arm extends above the head, reaching. Hold this, five, four, three, two, one. Return to baseline. Now you're going to alternate these in your own time. So maybe one, up, two, up, three, up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Students, put out that fire. <laughs> Bring your thighs on your chest. Hold your shins. Give your body a good old squeeze. Rock and rock and roll. You can rock side to side, forward and back. I'm just going to give you a little more light. So we threw some wood into the fire. I hope you're starting to feel really warmed up and good. Breathe. Ready for some bicycles? Anyone? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to keep our thighs again in that beautiful position of being ready for anything. So knees above hips, calves parallel to the floor, feet are flexed, hands come behind the lower skull where the skull and neck meet. And what I want you to do is try to reach your right shoulder toward the left knee. Keep the knee where it is. Right shoulder moves. And the left leg extends down in that process. Hold this. Five, four. Good, Joan. Three, two, one. Let's switch that out. Other side. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we alternate one beat at a time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Looking good, Ralph. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, you felt that in those lower abs for sure. Then those knees give your shins a good squeeze in. Breathe. Might feel really nice to circle those knees a little bit. One direction and the other direction. Ooh. We're going to put the knees above the hips again and press those thighs away. And thighs are pressing toward. Hands against thighs. Here we go, guys. 20 seconds. Bring it. Fifteen seconds. Bring it. Ten more seconds to go. Breathe. Five seconds. Ah, and release. Nice and long. Stick pose. 
Stretch those arms. Breathe in and out. Okay, one of our last sequences, I promise. Hands behind your skull. Lower portion, please. Legs up in the air. Keep your legs straight. Two parts to this. The first part is to bring your chest toward your thighs, pulsing. Pulse it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Second part is to stay up. Keep that upper back off the floor. And alternate leg drops. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to both legs up and pulse your chest. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, and then alternate leg drops. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You guys rock. Bring your shins in. Squeeze. All right, roll forward and back until you have enough momentum. And maybe you roll all the way up to seated. Ah, we did it. You feel pretty good? It'll pay you back tenfold. It always does, doesn't it? Hard work is the best uh, tonic in the world. Okay, bring the heels slightly apart. Sit upright. Mm, hands behind you, and you can just kind of windshield wiper those legs one direction and the other. And to stretch out our core a little bit, maybe when the knees drop to the right, put that right hand behind you like a kickstand, and maybe you just kind of lift up a little, stretching the core. And coming back, sweep down, turn. And just take some of these. Beautiful. Go your pace, your style. Nice way to just stretch out the sides of the abdomen. One more on each side. Okay, and back to your center. Even just windshield wipering the legs is such a nice feeling. And then we try this back to center, straighten the legs. And you can just kind of turn from one side and the other. Option here to produce that same effect only with straight legs now. Lifting up if you wish. One side. And the other. I'm just taking this a couple of times. Isn't that a great feeling. Well done, everybody. This is a nice opportunity for a forward fold as well. So legs extended out to the sides. As wide as you're able to. I'm going to use my strap and I'm going to hook one foot and then the other 
inside my strap and I'm just going to gently pull down but I have students who don't use straps who hold on to their shins or thighs or their feet if you struggle with flexibility in the backs of the legs and if you struggle with flexibility for forward folding a strap can be your best friend it is with me and you just gently pull down Do you feel your core at this point? Do you feel the fire? In the middle body? And do you feel that fire just sending all this heat through the limbs as well? It's pretty amazing. The communication between the body parts. Motion is the medicine for sure. And if you'd like, you can walk your way over to that right foot and just give that right leg some extra love. And breathe. And then that left leg, a little extra love. And breathe. And top of the morning to y'all. It's time for some sun salutations if you're ready. Here we go. Legs come together and then swing them behind you. Let's get into our first tabletop of the morning. Hands on the floor. Toes can be tucked or not. We'll inhale and arch into cow position. Exhale, round and tuck. And when you round and tuck here, I'd like you to lift the knees a little bit. So coming to that hover, hold this. Belly draws in, belly pulls up to the ceiling. Breathe in and out. We're holding this for five four, three, two, one, and then hips come all the way up. Maybe hands walk back closer to the feet. A little bend in the knees is always okay. Walk it out. Go walk that dog for me, pressing one heel at a time into the ground, bending one knee at a time. I like to do those plank rolls, so knees come down again and down jog. Push gently forward into your high plank from there. Try that again. Hips up to the sky, knees bend. Using the strength of those inner thighs, push forward into your high plank. So take some nice plank rolls here. Yeah. Aren't those gorgeous? They teach the body how the thigh muscles can control movement. And now we're truly going to launch. So hips up in the air, knees bend, look forward, prepare for flight. Walk or hop or float to the top of your mat. Feet meet the hands, inhaling flat back with hands on shins. And exhale to forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep. So you want to use all of your core muscles to slowly rise up to standing. Reach up nice and tall for me. So feel the length. You can see the students feeling the length of their entire bodies here. Let's try to get a good view of that. Everybody reaching up nice and strong here. Inhale, rising up, and exhale, prayer hands to your heart center. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, circle, sweep, raise it up. And exhale, forward, fold, draw down the midline of your body. Hands on the shins, inhaling flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, hands on the ground. Inhaling flat back, hands on the ground. Walk 
or hop your way back to that high plank. Students, we hold high plank. Hold it with integrity for five, four, three. Push that earth away from you. Round the upper back. Squeeze the shoulders. Two, one. Rolling forward on the toes, bending at the elbows. Low plank. Option to put knees on the floor. Inhale to upward dog. And exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Three breaths, inhale, and let it go. Two breaths, inhale, and let it go. One breath, inhale, and let it go. Bending those knees, look forward, walk, hop, or float, feet to the hands. Inhaling, halfway lift, hands on the shins. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep, raise it all the way up to standing. We rise. And exhale, prayer hands to your heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, raise it up. Circle, sweep, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on the ground. Inhaling, flat back, halfway lift. Walk, float, or hop back to that high plank. Holding that plank, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll forward on the toes. Bend at the elbows, low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Three breaths, inhale and release. Inhale and let it go. One more time for me. Inhale and release. Look forward. Bend those knees. Prepare for flight. Float forward. Feet meet the hands. Inhaling flat back with hands on shins and exhale forward fold. I'm going to take you all the way up. So inhale and circle sweep. Find that rise. And exhale, prayer hands to your heart center. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's find chair. Bend your knees. So in chair position, sides of feet can be together so they touch. Or if it's better for you, you can separate your feet. Hips width distance apart. I actually like my feet together. Tailbone, you don't want it sticking way out behind you, but you also don't want it unnaturally tucked. So find that nice 45 degree angle for the tailbone. And together we're going to sit just a little bit deeper and a little further down. Breathe. Stay here with your breath. Okay, find a little bit of a bounce. And with one of your bounces, you're going to then step out and step back. And then the other foot, out and back. Let's use control here. Out, in, out, in. Apply opposite hand if you can. few more just to work on coordination, timing, breath, and beat. And if you're practicing with other people the way we are, how synchronized can you be with your house, your roommates? your studio mates. We're really not synchronized here. Some people are doing left sides instead of rights, rights instead of left, half beats instead of full beats, and that's perfectly all right. Breathe. Three more. One. Two. Three, 
quite the chair. Inhale, circle, sweep up, raise. And exhale your prayer hands to heart center. We talked about something before class that I wanted to try. So you're going to step your feet out to the sides of the mat, maybe even a little wider. Come to goddess position. So that was warming up our joints. Tailbone points down here and arms in your goal post. What I'd like you to do is continue that awesome core work that we began on the ground. And this, you push up just like we already did. We found the bounce in the knees, right? But this time when you bounce, it's going to be left elbow to right knee and down. Left knee to right elbow and down. You find your beat. Go as slow or fast as works for you. Breathe. Stay with that breath. Almost a goddess dance, if you will. Maybe a little fly girl action in there. Hope you all are smiling behind your masks. I am. This is too fun. Pancake breakfast awaits you after class on this beautiful snow inundated Saturday. You get a little twist in there, okay? Breathe. So aerobic exercise, so valuable for keeping that heart health. I think that's one of the things that's been lacking during COVID. I hear folks are not getting all the aerobic exercise that they used to. How are we doing, Deba? Making it fun. So I love doing that with the arms, Erin. You have your fun. How much longer? Another three hours. <laughs> Once you get in that zone, though, it's just like long distance running. You can go forever. But we certainly don't want to tax joints, so we shan't. All right. Bring it down a little bit. Just keep your feet on the outsides of mats exactly. And just do a little swingy poo one side and the other. How'd we do, guys? Okay? You can swing it out. Nice work, Aditi. Awesome. And when you swing this stuff out, you can look over shoulder and twist and turn. And just to prime the arms, one of my favorite things to do is just kind of bring the arms forward and back and then catch one of them and fly it back and catch the other and fly it back. We're going to take care of those knees that we just worked a lot. We're going to take care of our torso, our shoulders, and our head. So let's begin this very subtle series just by hands on hips. Feet are separated. Start to circle your head. One direction, other direction. So there's an extra added layer of heat in our studio because we are all required to wear these masks. And I've never heard a single person complaining about it. Bless you all. We'll all get through this together, together. Okay, ready for shoulders? Roll them forward. 
Roll them back. And breathe. Ready for torso. So this has a dual purpose here. Both the hips are circling and the torso is circling. That's pretty cool. Let's hit those knees. So you're going to bring your feet a little closer and bring the knees together and circle them one direction. This is a nice wake up routine to do in the morning. And if you have steam left in the engine, you're going to toe heel those feet out a little bit. Find that goddess. Find your balance foot to foot, and you can take those knee to elbows one last time today at your pace. Deba and I spend way too much time together. Look at that. Second by second, we are completely coordinated. She's my best buddy. All right, roll it out. All these guys in this circle have been here since day one of COVID. Many, many thanks for continuing uh, the survival of our studio. All right, guys, you ready? Some warriors, some crescent lunge action. You wanna enter the real yoga world? All right, here we go. <laughs> We're going to start with standing knee. So weight goes into the left leg. Please pick up your right shin. You might recognize this. We did this when we were laying down. It was called wind relieving pose. Standing, it takes on a whole different character, doesn't it? Position that hip on top of the knee, on top of the ankle, and that left glute is rock solid. All right, squeeze. Yeah, you can circle at your ankle. Might need it. Beautiful. Keep that knee up. Now, remember how we pushed our thigh away from us earlier when we were lying down? We're going to replicate that. Push the thigh down with your hands. Thigh presses right back up at the hands. Breathe. And then sweep up. This will be fun. Push your heel forward and back. Let's fly in our airplane. Now airplane is different from Warrior 3. Airplane, your chest is lifted. It's almost like a balancing upward facing dog where your chest is lifted. You got it, Marina. How beautiful. You ready to land that right foot? Crescent lunge position. Two arms reach up. A bend in the front knee, a bend in the back knee. Crescent lunge. Chest is lifted, heart is wide open. Breathe. Take a high twist to the right, so extend your left arm in front of you. Right arm back and turn to face the side mirror. We'll sweep that right arm down and up. And the next time it sweeps down, the right heel comes down with it, finding warrior two position facing the side of your room. Breathe. Pull those arms apart. Relax your shoulders. Good, Mary Ellen. Calm the nervous system. Find your breath. Flip your palms, breathe in, reverse your warrior. Two breaths here, please, two more. Good. And propel your arms and let's step the right foot forward to meet the left, standing Tadasana position. Weight goes into right leg. Interlace your fingers. Let's find that left shin scoop. Circling at your ankle. A 
Okay, when you release the leg, it doesn't drop. And actually, you're going to add that intra-body resistance. Push the thigh down. Side pushes up. Breathe. When thigh is strong enough to be on its own, good thigh, good thigh. Here we go. Circle sweep. Kick out. Fly back. You're going to be in your airplane above the clouds over the rainbows. Breathe. A slow descent, crescent lunge position. Breathe here. Both knees bent, even that back knee, especially the back knee, actually, to help alleviate any tightness and tension in that lower back. High twist to the left for me. One full rotation of left arm. In that second rotation, that's where Warrior Two is born. Back heel drops. Relax your shoulders, pull those arms apart. Breathe. This is where you calm the nervous system. Please find the breath. Flip your palms. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Find your deepest calm. And here we go. Propel the arms, push off with back legs, standing to dasana. Two more sets. Two more sets. Weight goes into that left leg, interlace your fingers. So the only way that you can master something or get close to mastering is through repetition. Push down. Rise up. Kick out. Fly back. Hold it. Two breaths. Crescent lunge. High twist it to the right. One rotation. Second rotation carries you to warrior two. Good, Karina. Flip that front palm, breathe in reverse. Propel the arms to Dasana pose. <laughs> Interlace those fingers, left shin comes up, squeeze. Press. Stand. Kick it out. Fly back. Hold it, two breaths. Crescent. High twist to the left. Two rotations. First one. Second one carries you into warrior two. Relax, calm the nervous system. Flip palms, breathe in reverse. Propel the arms to standing, to dasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Last set if you're into it, here we go. Up, press, stand, kick out, fly it back, two breaths. Crescent, high twist to the right, two rotations, one, second one takes you to warrior two, calm the nervous system, breathe, flip the front palm, breathe in reverse, 
Take it to standing. Beautiful, Stacy. Breathe in and out. Last side. Take it up. Left shin. Press it down. Left thigh. Sweep up. Kick it out. Fly it back. Two breaths in airplane. Fly high, students. She's a sparrow when she's broken. She's an eagle when she flies. Take it into your crescent. High twist to the left. Two rotations. One. Second one, here we come. Warrior two position. Relax your shoulders, pull those arms apart. Breathe. Palms flip, inhale, reverse the warrior. Hold it. And when you are ready, arms propel, left foot steps forward to meet the right. Awesome sauce. Take your drinks, take anything you need to take. So that was challenging. I hope it worked out okay for you at home. We're going to continue with a couple of balancing postures, some floor postures, some deep stretches. Stay with us, okay? Here we go. A little more balancing, guys. Okay. Standing straight, grounding the feet. Weight's going into that left leg. Take a quad stretch here. So you're going to grab the right foot behind you or the ankle. Both hands on it, okay? So here we go. Now, you might want to fling that leg out to the side, but let's try to have the thighs touch each other. Point your knee down. Bring your shoulders back. Push your pelvis forward. Tuck it under you. Maintain the tuck of the pelvis and see if you can't push your thigh back. Option here to uh, hinge on that left hip. And bring the torso a little forward as you push the thigh up. Both hands are bound over that right foot. Bring it back down and release it. Very nice quad stretch, very simple. Try the other side, weights in the right foot, and here we go. Let's see, I think I'm blocking someone behind me. I'm blocking Erin, right? I can't really see it that well. Is that okay? Okay, here we go. Let's bring the thighs together. Now, it's key that there are no duck butts here, right? You push the pelvis forward, point the tailbone down. And if you can stay standing straight up, push the thigh back. If you'd like to turn it into more of a balance, Hinge on that right hip. And gently release out. Beautifully done. Okay, that's my version of dancer pose. We'll take it into tree pose next. Here we go. Weight goes into that left leg. Okay, pivot on the right toes. You're going to point the toes, and they're going to be drilled into the floor, kind of, and open and close that right thigh. 
and then draw the right heel up your left thigh. If the heel cannot sit on the thigh, please place it on your calf. Or ultimately, you might like a two-legged tree and both feet are on the floor. Those are beautiful versions. And you can find whatever tree you feel like growing today. Take any movements that your organic garden tells you. Two more breaths here in your beautiful tree. Tree release. We're going to try the other side, okay? Here we go, guys. So, right foot is planted left toes on the floor and you can just swivel within that hip socket and draw your heel up or if you prefer two rooted double rooted tree that's totally cool Transcend, find your movement, any which way you feel like going, any which way you feel like growing. Two more breaths. Okay, tree dismount. Nice work, everybody, nice work. Take any other standing movements that your body's asking for. Maybe a forward fold might feel good, separating the feet and just letting yourself hang. From there, students, just let your body hang. Maybe walk forward on those hands. Let's take plank position. If plank is not in your practice today, tabletop will do just fine. Hold that plank or tabletop, holding it five, four, three, mm. Beautiful. Two. <laughs> you ready? Roll forward on those toes. Bend at the elbows. Elbows hug the sides of the body. Squeeze them inward. Chaturanga. As slow as you can. Okay, surrender. Left ear on the mat. Head faces to the right. Arms to your sides. You can windshield wiper the legs if you like breathe
How about the other ear on the floor and your head faces in the other direction, just to give your neck a nice even stretch? When you're ready, your chin comes on the mat. You're facing, your, your gaze is toward the midline of your body, so center gaze. Take that right foot behind you, reach back for it with both hands, and let's squeeze the right heel. Chest stays on the floor here. Thighs come close together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pull your knee away from you. Heel toward the high knee. Front of your right hip bone on the floor and the right thigh lifts, please. Let's switch those legs. Same thing on the left side, students. Thighs together. Pull the left knee away from the belly. Stretch the left thigh. Pick up your left thigh. No help from the right leg. This is all just the power of the quad on the left side, the glute on the left side, and the hip flexor. Okay, lower down. We're going to push up off our mat using our hands. Crawl to the top of the mat on the knees. We're going to further that quad stretch by coming to reclining hero's position. Sit between your heels. If you have a block, you might sit that block underneath your booty and lie back. Now, this is where I land. But I know many students can lie all the way down. You can take a look at Deba behind me. Very important to stretch the quads and the hip flexors. Once you lie all the way back, the spine gets a beautiful stretch as well. I'll extend my gratitude at this time, all the supporters of our studio, all the people who continue to come to class, either virtually or in person, our landlord, who has been extremely generous, all of the federal funding and the local funding. So thanks for helping us keep this business alive. We appreciate it. Couple more breaths here in fixed firm. Okay, I saw Mary Ellen doing a nice calf stretch. So I'm gonna take you there. Lift up out of fixed firm, tabletop. Bring your right knee to center and tabletop and stretch that left leg out. And just stretch the back of your calf here by coming on those left toes and pushing your heel back. And maybe forward a little. Rolling over on the toes, giving the toes a little stretch too.
And let's change our sides. Left knee comes down, right leg stretches, and you'll just stretch the back of that calf. Maybe rolling on those right toes a little bit. Breathe. All right, nicely done. You want a child's pose? Spread those knees apart, hips push back, stretch your arms. Please walk your hands to the left corner of your mat. Feel that stretch on the right side body when you do that. Our bodies need so much love and care. We work them so hard with all of our worries. They absorb all of our emotions. And sometimes they can't function because of the heavy loads in our heads. So please take care of your body. Give it the love it needs. Let's walk the hands to the right upper corner. Rest. Left hand reaches way over so that you get that beautiful side stretch on the left side. Okay, bringing it back to center, and you'll roll over and find your calmest way onto your back, lying all the way back. Heads face the front, feet face the back. You can bring your knees on, excuse me, knees in the air and feet on the floor. Aren't you so glad we did the abs early? <laughs> and you can just windshield wiper the knees from one side to the other. And maybe when the knees drop to the right, uh, you trap the left thigh underneath your right ankle. And just take a little bit of a twist here. Arms extend out. And if the knees are pointing in the direction of the right, you can turn your head to the left. What I like to do here is extend that right arm out. Inhale, right arm sweeps over to the left. 
and then exhale right arm back over to the right. Inhale, left arm lifts up and over to the right. And exhale, left arm back over. You can alternate the arms a little, right arm to left. Feel that twist in the left side body. Bring it back. Right arm up and over. Two shoulders return flat on the floor here. Okay. Let's uh, free the left thigh. Right foot on the floor. Bring the knees to the other side. Trap the right thigh underneath your left ankle for a nice twist. Stretch those arms apart. Inhale, right arm comes up and over. Exhale, right arm returns back. Inhale, left arm. And it returns. Right arm. Left arm. One more time. Okay. Release that right thigh from under the left ankle. And I'd like you to just windshield wiper a little, one direction and the other. Do you remember we started the practice with wind relieving pose? I'd like to return to that, please. Stretch that left leg, interlace your fingers around right shin, squeeze. You may want to, again, play with raising the left leg up and down and up and down and now we'll bend the left knee please put the sole of the left foot on the floor let's take our right ankle and place it over our left thigh for half pigeon position i use a block and i gently press the right thigh away from me Take some breath here. Couple more breaths. Okay, gently dismount. Relax the right leg down. You might want to just rotate that limb a little bit. Shake the foot from one side to the other just to kind of loosen the limb in the hip socket. Here we go. Wind relieving on the left. Squeeze. Option here to raise and lower. 
the right leg. I like this addition actually. And then you land the right foot on the floor with a bent knee and place your left ankle over your right thigh. For half pigeon on the left side, I use a block and I just gently squeeze the left thigh away from my torso. Mm. Just take some breath here. Couple more breaths. Okay. Releasing. Slide your block if you have one underneath your pelvis. And finishing up with your waterfall, let's allow gravity to bring the blood to our hearts. So you can raise your fingers and toes in the air as high as you can make them. Mm, let blood drain toward the heart. You can literally feel the nervous system calming and the muscles relaxing. Legs up against a wall, Erin. That's a beautiful version if you're at home. We're in the studio and there's a wall. You can re rest the legs up against the wall. So as always, everybody, thank you for watching. My name is Amy. I'm going to take these guys into a Shavasana. You at home, take Shavasana as long as you wish. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with Dima. Namaste.